right, no rotor pedals yet. All I'm going to do is just do a quick flight using the standard real flight controller. Got the simulator computer sitting right over here. And that computer doesn't give a full display, so. for the computer. This one will be for the FPV setup. Probably the hotels, some of the hat switch will be set for the trims. Get your uh, display modes over here. I'm going to figure out what else I'm going to use the rest of these switches here for. But I know I definitely want to use them for every section of the radio. In fact, I could probably even use them for mode selections. But you can see I have plenty of clearance here between the instrument panel and the control stick. So that should get a good full display, and that'll be more than enough for what I need to actually be able to fly the airplanes. So. All right. This would be a representative example of what, uh, about what I'm actually going to be seeing when I fly. Let's see, I've got the controls down here. Um, eventually, I will get the rudder pedals uh, with the little springs on the, the lever so I can go and get that synced up. Okay, just for right now, I'm just going to fly single-handedly because I'm holding on to everything. Okay, but this is about what I'm looking at. Don't really need two hands to fly this plane here. But if you take a look, there's the bottom of the screen right there. Should be plenty of room. What's that hole coming up? I guess it's the same thing as I'd be crazy threading the needle. <laughs> Hi. Huh? Yeah. Hey, you want to try it? Just like flying a real plane into the side of this thing. Ah. <laughs> huh? Um, well, essentially, you got to climb up over this using that toolbox right now. And when I get done, hopefully, I'll have all this cut out here so that I, when I take and pull it up and everything else, it will then be accessible a little bit more so that somebody can fly, uh, just slide in here. No, it's going to be moved out once I get done. Uh, hopefully, behind my truck <laughs> so I can haul it out to the site. Uh, the one that I can take and go fly airplanes with. No, that's why it's all shock mounted. It's got four shock mounts up here. 
That's to protect the TV from any unnecessary shock on the road. Yeah. And of course, uh, I've now got the uh, the shocks underneath the the trailer too to kind of help to dampen everything. So kind of reduce the amount of roll. Uh, this thing was fishtailing really bad, but <laughs> yeah. Okay. But yeah, you're more than welcome to try it. Are you sure about that? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just doing some recording at, at eye levels to actually show where the screen is in relation to my head. Wait, ah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess you'll have to watch the video later. <laughs> okay. Hey, this is a representative example. Hmm. I have to kind of at least show what it is that I'm doing so that it all makes it worthwhile. It pieces all the, the puzzle pieces together. Woo! Nice back screen. Alright.